Hello Android developers! My name is Mohsen and I'm back with part 2 of the CI-CD pipeline from an Android app perspective videos. In part 1 we talked about CI and how to set up a simple GitHub Actions workflow for an Android project to keep the code integrity. In this video we continue with CD, a part of the pipeline which is mostly ignored by teams or is being done manually. CD stands for Continuous Delivery or Continuous Deployment depending on how you set it up. It is a set of practices to reduce deployment time, decrease the costs, helps with scaling the software and deploy the latest code changes faster. As a short comparison between delivery and deployment, I can say Continuous Delivery is not 100% automated. It means when everything is ready, a human approval is required to release the new changes to the end users. However, in continuous deployment, the workflow automatically releases the code changes to the end user with no human approval. For most Android apps, the production environment is Google Play Store, but you usually require another service in between to share the build output with QA or internal beta testers, also known as dog fooding. What I'm going to do today is to show you quickly how to set up the Firebase app deployment service for your app as a part of the GitHub Actions flow, keeping in mind that Firebase is one of the many services that gives you this feature. First you need to log into the Firebase console and create a new project. After opening the project dashboard, on the left panel you can find the app distribution. First, you have to register your Android app to the project by setting the package name. You can also secure it by adding your application key store signature SHA1. Skip downloading the Google Services JSON file, cause I will show you how Android Studio can take care of that for your project. The Firebase app distribution is where you can upload your APKs manually, invite testers by creating and sharing a link, or add testers using their email address, and define groups. Later you will see how we use this info in the workflow. The easiest way of integrating with Firebase features is using the Firebase toolbox and doing this step by step manual. In our case we go for the app distribution section and do as it says. As the first step you need to connect your project to a Firebase project. As you can see, this plugin took care of downloading the Google Services JSON file into your app folder. This JSON file contains information like the app ID in the Firebase project that we need soon for the app distribution task. For more security, you can also avoid pushing this file to your repository and encrypt it as a GitHub action secret and decrypt it at runtime and store it as a file. Later, you need to add the app distribution plugin to your project that this toolbar makes it easy for you with some clicks and accepting the changes. Changes are adding Google services and Firebase app distribution Gradle plugins to the class paths and adding related plugins to the application module. The next step is to authenticate your Firebase project by running the app distribution login Gradle task and following the link it provides. The outcome is a refresh token that the app distribution plugin uses for authentication. 
you need to add it to your GitHub Action Secrets as Firebase token so we can load it at runtime as an environment variable. As the last part of this instruction, you need to define a Firebase app distribution config block that defines release nodes, testers, or group of testers who should receive the app. Here I add it to the debug build type. The plugin provides us a task called app distribution upload for every build type and flavor. For the test purpose, I'm going to set up my local machine environment variable by adding Firebase token and execute this task. For your information, the assemble task generates the APK file and we need to run it before the upload task. Also, as a side note, do not forget to clean and sync your Gradle task so the plugin finds the Google Services JSON file. The tasks are executed successfully and we can see the result in the Firebase app distribution dashboard. The testers are also notified about the build and will receive an email. I'm going to delete this APK and set up a CI workflow that does the same for us whenever we push a change into our repo's main branch. I call this workflow deploy and add the configurations which defines the workflow name, triggers, and execution environment. And in the end, load the Firebase token from GitHub Action Secrets and set it as an environment variable for this virtual machine. Now let's push the changes to the main branch and trigger the workflow. And here is the result. Now let's take a quick look into the tester side of this feature. The tester receives an invitation email containing an instruction that allows them to download the Firebase App Tester application. Inside this app, the tester should log in with the email which received the invitation and gets access to the APKs. The app shows the version, release notes, and a button to download and install the APK. That's it. One last thing I'd like to note before I sign off is that this was a simple solution to demonstrate the CD part of the pipeline. I leave the rest to you to find how to make it happen based on your company and team setup. As you may already know, on Play Store you can define alpha testers and beta testers and invite your users to use the app early version. 
You can always find a GitHub action that can upload your APK file to Play Store and release the output there. In the end, let me invite you to subscribe to my channel if you like such Android tips content. I also do a monthly interview with Android community active members talking about their lifestyle, latest contributions to the community and their tips for developing Android apps. So hit the bell button to get notified whenever there is a new video. Bye.